Hello? Anybody know what this is? This is our Daikin Death Trap. So the owner says it's off at the thermostat downstairs and he came up here uh, and he reset the breaker and it worked for a little while and then he had to reset the breaker and then it worked and he had to reset the breaker. So I was like, stop resetting the breaker. And I have a suspicion I'm going to have to talk loud because this exhaust fan is right here next to us and I you know I called it a globe and somebody lost their mind. Somebody literally was like, that's not a globe, it's an exhaust fan. Okay. So this exhaust fan is loud. We're running continuity. Uh, I've got a suspicion because I don't think we're gonna find a short to ground. We're not gonna find a short to ground because we're not having a short to ground issue. We're having a connectivity and an over amping issue. Because these contactors are shot. So I'm gonna replace contactors. I'm off at the breaker, by the way. Um, and that's frame. So, I'm gonna turn on the unit, I'm gonna manually bump everything, and I'm gonna see if anything specifically trips it. But, I mean, I know that would do it. Look at him. And so upon firing it up, my blower pulled in almost immediately. So I can make that compressor run, and it is, which means I don't have an immediate short in it, it's not over amping. I can make this one run, and it is, right? So that, that all tells me, assuming the fans are running, yep, so that all tells me these compressors are okay, they're not short to ground, the fans aren't short, you've just got an issue with it overheating over time. And based on the color of that, yup. So, let's go see. Oh boy, when I turn that off, she went <laughs> Let's go see how many contactors I have in there. That one's the worst of all of them. And that's the one that made such a when I disengaged it. Let's watch it again. Let that run for a second. Da, 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 da. Somebody else was like, you should get an umbrella. I've got two umbrellas in the van. I'll actually bring an umbrella up if I'm gonna be here for an hour changing these. Now we're just getting started. these one by one and I've got all three um, the coils are on the bottom so my writing's gonna be upside down so we'll pull the plates and flip them but I'm being attentive to this guy just barely slides on there it just it barely slides on there I don't like it so I'm gonna crimp that shut a little bit let me show you a thing right so this was on the second leg and so what I used to would have done was cut that off and just straight wire it. Now what I do 
is I just cut that off, and that gives me basically a ferrule, right? That's nice for the clamp to hit, and it's in there. I really like that trick instead of just putting in the bare wire. Because I've got a ferrule kit in the van, or in the bag, if you don't know what that is. It's uh, where you can take wire. Ugh. Right, so, and I think I just got this at Home Depot or Lowe's. But it takes, so I could cut that wire back. And then I could put the right size crimp on it, squeeze it closed, and I would have, instead of stranded wire, I would have a ferrule holding everything together. I would be creating what's already here in this, in this, in this uh, crimp. So, that's gonna dance its way right into the grease pit. No thanks. All right, well, we just fired her up and she pulled in. So that's a good start. These are terrible. 